Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ken Gabelka. He's the owner of Evergreen Lodge at Clearwater Lake, renowned for trout fishing. What's the size of the lake, Ken? Uh, it's about, it's almost round, so it would be about 15 miles across at the closest points, without counting the bays. The yeah. bays are small, but it's basically around like about 15 by 15 miles. Okay. And what kind of fish are in here? Uh, mostly people come here for the lake trout, but there's pretty good pike in here too. Northerns yeah. are pretty good. Uh, Northerns and the lake trout. And then we do have uh, some small, uh, some white fish, uh, but nobody goes after them. They yeah. mainly go after the pike and the... Uh, and, uh, and uh, lake trout especially. Okay. It's getting really world class. We're going to uh, talk a little bit about your bombardier sure. here now. Yep. This bombardier came in for body work and a paint job. And uh, Ken's uh, grandson decided the color should be white. So that's what we went with. It's off white. And Ken is just finishing it now. Uh, like the woodwork and whatnot. And this is a 1954 metal narrow gauge. <clears throat> so you're still working on this and you had this for a while. But have you got an ETA when you roll out the door? I had other things I had to do and I'm going to get right back at it. I started this morning and I think in about four days, five days, it'll be out the door ready to go. Oh, wow. Okay. It has to be. We're ready to fish. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. We started off with a new rad and a new uh, transmission cooler rad. And then all the doors are... That's or easy hinged access. with uh, lift off, and uh, this is a 300 cubic six uh, Ford engine with a 240 head on it, and roller rockers, uh, high volume oil pump, and uh, bored out to 50 thou with special pistons, and uh, to do with all the electronics. Uh, uh, one wire distributor was installed in here. This uh, this cover was made at a different shop and assembled. The the motor was all done in uh, Winnipeg at a machine shop that specializes on this. <coughs> this has a Offenhauser four barrel intake manifold with a 550 uh, carburetor and it's dual exhausted down to three and a half inches for uh, volume to get rid of the gas, the, the exhaust. And it's a 140 amp alternator in here. I forgot to mention that uh, that Offenhauser is, uh, intake is for a four barrel carb. Now this is solid uh, tires with the big axle. It's the same uh, uh, wheel and hub as a M7 Bombardier or Swamp Buggy. All these tires are new, foam filled. Tracks are new, cleats are new, and bogies are all new. Plus the sprockets. Uh, it was decided that to, to save a bombardier tire and a rim, we made uh, uh, cut rims and put a solid uh, pipe in here and welded everything. But this has the same hub and bearing set as on the rest of the wheels, uh, and uh, but it's a wide tire for traveling and uh, moving it around in uh, off season. Uh, Ken made an inspection uh, cover on the front to get at grease nipples, shock absorbers, power steering, er, and the heater. This is a dash shifter 
for an automatic transmission, electric power steering, tack, horn, and the rest of the gauges for the heater and the headlight. And what are we looking and at down here? This is a one ton rear end with a disc caliber brake. And that's the reservoir for the brake system. Rebuilt. Oh. Completely rebuilt. The C6 transmission. Okay. He's working on this at the present time, but this what the headliner and look, and that's what it'll look like around the windows. So there's unfinished, and this looks finished. That's good. Under here is usually it's open. He reskinned underneath and foam filled this before he put this cover back in just to keep the heat in. This is foam filled under here. This is foam filled, same with there. And he can still get at his linkage, his hoses, or anything. And then this gets covered to put the seat on. Is there anything do you think I missed here, Ken, or are you satisfied with uh, the with the uh, interview? Pre presentation was, I think, excellent there, yes. You did a good job. I think you covered all of it. I think we're good. 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 Okay, so you, you said uh, probably another four to seven days and you're rolling out? Yeah, it'd be close to that. Okay. I always say four and it'll turn to seven. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so thank you very much, Mr. Yeah. Kabelka. We're yeah. all, uh, this is Evergreen Lodge uh, in just outside the shop here at Evergreen Lodge. We've got a float plane here and just a gorgeous view at Clearwater Lake.